This is the HC, the C-Star HC 5370 side mount cylinder. Mine broke the threads inside this thing, rotted out, and it just popped off. But while I was at sea, I tied some strings on here so I could turn the boat and get home. So now what I got is a brand new replacement. This time, inside the threads right there, I'm gonna put a bunch of grease and maybe some plumber's dope, kind of seal the water out of there from rotting the threads. It's aluminum and it's got threads. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two hydraulic lines off there and there and pull this out and see it doesn't look like it would slide all the way out but there's a pin that keeps it together it only needs to come out about that far drop the pin out done so let's get started you got to take this link arm off so you can push this rod in a little bit to expose the pin that holds them together. Right here is that pin. It's not in there very hard, it's just barely in there. Once that comes out, this will slide right off. Bam, that's it. Now we put the new one on. So I'm going to put some plumber's dope. Pipe putty, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put that in there. On these threads, seal this thing up good. That's what happened was. The threads just rotted out inside there. They're aluminum. And that's been on there for a few years. So I'm just going to push that in there, line up that hole, and put that little pin back in. Make sure it's flush in there, and then when you push it in, that pin can't fall out. And now, you thread this on. so I can get my hydraulic line on there. That's it. Now I'll put my link arm back on. Put my nut back on. Hook up my hydraulic lines, then I gotta bleed the helm. Or not bleed the helm, but bleed the cylinder. So when you take your hydraulic lines on, remember which one goes on which side, because if you get them backwards, your steering's gonna turn backwards. Now, this fitting, I don't want this hose coming all the way around here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is turn this fitting. I'm gonna loosen that nut, and then I can turn this fitting so that this will come in on this side. So now we need to get all the air out of that new cylinder. So we are going to, this bleeder tube, this hose was provided with the new cylinder. I'll screw that in there so I don't get fluid all over the place. So I am using automatic transmission fluid. You can spend the extra money and get the C-Star steering fluid, but I go to the auto parts store and get ATF, which is acceptable. Bottle upside down. If you're going to use a whole quart of this stuff, you could poke a hole in the, in the container to let it come out easier. But I just squeeze the bottle, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You want to fill up this hose. You want all the air up in this hose to be full. And this makes the bleeding process a whole lot easier. So then all we're gonna do is just turn the wheel, hard over. So I'm gonna crack this side. No air coming out of there. 
So when this cylinder, when this rod is all the way in, this side of the cylinder is full. When it's all the way out, this side of the cylinder is full. So when I push the rod out, I'm going to bleed this side. Then I'm going to bleed this side again. And <clears throat> this steering system is basically self-bleeding. You get most of the air out. As you use the boat, the air will work its way up to the helm. And you may have to, after you use the boat a little while, you may have to add a little more fluid to the helm. But basically, I'm just about done. I'm going to turn the wheel and bleed it a couple more times, and I'm all set. So that air is blowing back up here. That air is coming up from the cylinder. I'm just going to let it keep coming. And turn this wheel back and forth a few times. It will pretty much remove 80% of the air. Now just remove that. Put the cap on there. This cap is vented, so if you get too much fluid in it, it's going to spew out here, which is no big deal. It's meant to do that. There we go. We're all done. New cylinder. I'm back on the water. Now I got to clean up all this fluid that I've spilled everywhere.